Nate here from fitnesscrewmancafe.com, the home of fitness equipment news, reviews, and interviews. And just behind me is the Techno Gym bike. Now this is a first look. It is the first one of its kind in the Asia Pacific region, and I'm one of the first people to try it. So I'm, I'm pretty excited. So here we are, I'm on the bike and I'm ready to roll and there's a few things, a few steps that we need to take before we uh, start. So first thing is, is to tap on the screen and now we, we need to choose uh, what style of riding we want to do. There's the Rebel which is 45 minutes, uh, that's based in the UK. We've got Revolution which is Virgin Active in Milan. Uh, they've got 30, 50 and 55 minute. I'm just going to do a 30 minute today. Now the first thing it asks you to do is to log on. So I've got my My Wellness account and it's asking for the QR code. So I'm just going to tap on the QR code and it comes up with my QR scanner. Done that. And now it says, you are on the Techno Gym bike. Yes, I am. Now I'm putting the device, my, my phone down because its job is done. There's nothing more than the, that the actual phone or the app is going to do. What the app will do is, uh, following the workout, uh, you will see the, the workout pop up um, for you. This is um, the home screen, I guess you would call it. On the, at the top here, we have all the live workouts. And we can tap across, it's got a prompt to do that. But you can also use your finger just like a tablet. So these are the live classes. Now it says that we're in Revolution. If I've made a mistake on the home screen, uh, on that front screen where, it where you choose Revolution or Milan, I can tap on that and then go to One Rebel. I go, oh, made a mistake. I can fix my mistake. All right. So duration, I can search 30 minutes, 50 minutes, and obviously that will expand as time goes on. Uh, we've also got music. Um, this is rock, pop, hip hop, dance. So I can choose the, the genre of music. I can also choose the type of uh, program that I want. So cycle burn, cycle race, cycle sprint. And I can also select my favorite trainers. Okay, so if I just tap those up now, we're just having a look at the on-demand now. These are all the on-demand programs that are available. And we're just gonna go with something really simple. Alessandra, she looks like she's got some attitude. I like that, okay, so. I can also at this point, if I know um, this workout and I enjoy it, I can flag it as a favorite and that will pop down here. So from here I can click start because that's the workout I want to do. And, oh, that's interesting. Okay, so something, a little prompt has come up. Now it's asking me for um, to pair my heart rate monitor, Now, which I'd already done. But you can actually have a look here at the list if you haven't uh, connected it before. And I'm just wearing the, um, this is the, the, the Polar um, strap. So now it's basically, it's paired with the uh, Techno Gym bike and we're ready to go. So I'll just close that down. You can also connect your sound uh, speakers. Now there's a couple of ways to do that. You can use Bluetooth speakers. Um, and I also noticed when I was inspecting the bike beforehand that there's a, a jack, a standard original old school jack and you can put in some corded earphones. Today, I'm just gonna to listen to the audio um, that's being played from the speakers that's uh, part of the, uh, the screen. And we're gonna start the class. And let's just see, I'm gonna pump up the sound there and you'll be able to hear exactly how loud it is. So I'm just going to turn that down. Turn it down a bit more. Now I really like uh, the sound of that. That's that's quite reasonable, and especially when you think about it from a home environment. If you're in a gym, you might be disturbing a few people, so um, you might want to use some earphones uh, or the the ear jacks, so the Bluetooth and whatnot. 
Uh, but I quite like the sound of that. That's that's really cool. Challenge yourself with just the button that you can find down here. If you turn it to the right, you add on resistance. Okay, so now she's going through some instructions, which they do, uh, I believe, in every class. Um, and while we're while I've still got some energy and I, I haven't uh, puffed myself out too much, let's talk about the data that you see on the screen. First of all, let's look at the left-hand side here. You've got your heart rate monitor, which is my the polar. Then moving across, we've got the resistance dial. So. This is a level of three resistance. So if I just um, turn the resistance dial, suddenly, whoa, okay, so the power is jumping up. Now the resistance dial actually feels almost like I'm opening a safe. So you, you turn that, uh, that safe dial and you get just a, a very micro kind of um, click sound and click feel, which is very cool. So resistance on this, uh, on, a, on a traditional bike, you know, you don't usually get feedback, immediate feedback um, with the resistance level, so that's pretty cool. Next, we've got your maximum watts. In the middle, you've got your bigger dial, which is your current power. Um, and it's color, it's actually got a circle around it which changes color. Now, because I've had the skill bike before testing that, I've set my FTP. And so I know that once I hit around about 220 to 250, I'll be in my yellow zone. And beyond that will be over FTP. Okay, so next is average uh, 95 watts of power. You got your cadence. Below that, we've got distance, speed, calories, and moves. Now the interesting part with the moves is that also translates down the side here. We've got the time and then you've got information on the ride. So you've got 11 riders. Currently I'm ranked uh, fourth, I believe, based on um, the amount of moves that I have produced. So you can have a little competition with other people that are riding the bike right now. You can also, I believe, yeah, hide that away. So the screen is really intuitive. This is the first time that I'm writing this and testing these functions out, but I get it. I really get it. It's really easy. So here we go. This is the results. I am actually, let me just show you the proof that uh, I am completely smashed. That's me. I'm toast. Alessandra, absolutely wicked. She obviously likes to uh, do hill climbs and standing. So anyway, um, I chose it, <laughs> no one else's fault. Uh, I'll just delay that. So let's have a look, this is my power. Uh, this is my power chart. Now you notice here this big dip, that's when we were doing weight, so I actually stopped pedaling. And I did notice at that point that my power dropped, my average power, which was a little bit sucky for me, but hey, that's, that's just who I am as a, as a person. I, I like my cycling data. Most people wouldn't, um, wouldn't really care. So this is cadence, here we go. Uh, we're, this is our level, this is our resistance style. This is what I'm most interested in uh, with these bikes is because uh, now for, um, in particular, we have a correlation between our dial down here and uh, our data, our screen. So it's giving us a resistance style. Very, very handy, guys, uh, when it comes to doing interval work. So if you want to do an interval, uh, a hard push, say at like 100 RPM at level 15, now you know what that is. Whereas before, all you do is just keep turning, 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 and it was guesswork. Uh, there's no guesswork anymore, so that's really cool. Okay, so speed. This is my speed, and again, that dip correlates with uh, um, me stopping uh, pedaling. Now, the little uh, polar uh, heart rate monitor, there we go. That's my, my heart rate there. Um, so I, I became, I was ranked number one for this particular class. Um, I scored five, 548 moves and the duration was 30 minutes. Um, I was number one so I can actually see all the different people here. My heart rate is still sitting high. And now I can rate this class. So Alessandra, I'm, I'm gonna give you a five because you know that was pretty wicked. The trainer, yes, I'm gonna give Alessandra a five. Um, the musica, la musica, I'm gonna give a, a four because um, I, I uh, wasn't really listening too much. I was more concentrating on what Alessandra was saying. And the quality this time, 
uh, obviously being the first time was really good and that's not exaggerating you guys saw the the actual quality um, so there we go now I'm gonna press done and we are done you know what it wasn't my favorite class but I am definitely gonna make that a favorite uh, for next time so I'm gonna enter uh, exit that and I'm gonna come down to my favorites and there you go, there's Alessandra, and she's almost giving me the finger. 